everybody. Welcome to Theory Thursday. This is lesson number nine. We're going to talk about the grand staff. My name is Alex Bourne. I'm the founder and um, instructor at Rockwell Guitar School. So, um, so far you've learned about the treble clef and the bass clef. In the grand staff, we put them together. They're going to be joined together by a brace. As you can see right here, this is what a brace is. It consists of a straight line and a curved line. Okay, so you're going to need to know because you're going to draw it a couple times uh, in your practice. Um, so together they're called the grand staff. And uh, one thing you need to know is a ledger line is a small line which is added above or below either the tre treble or the bass staffs. So as you can see here, all the notes, not counting sharps or flats, on the grand staff. You can see they're connected in the middle by the middle C. Don't be fooled by the distance between the notes because, for example, this is a D and this is a C. They're right next to each other on the piano. Okay. Um, also, this is a B and this is a C. They're also right next to each other on the piano. So, don't be fooled by the distances. Um, just know that they are right next to each other and uh, that's how they link up with middle C in the middle. Okay, the ledger lines are for when the notes go off the staff into higher registers. For example, right here we have F, the top line, and then G, and this is A, okay? So if these lines in the staff kept going, A would have a line right there. That's what the ledger line is for. It makes uh, reading the notes easier for performers or reading treble clef. It makes things much easier to read. And you can also do this um, in the lower register. For example, right here is G on the bass clef. Bottom line underneath that is F. And underneath that is E. And it will continue to go D, C, B, A, so on and so forth with the necessary ledger lines. Okay, so that's how they link up. Here's some of the activities. Now here they want you to draw the brace. Remember the straight line and the curved line. You need a treble clef, a bass clef, and then name the notes. So figure out what notes these are in their respective clefs. Make sure you watch your clefs. Remember the order is different for treble clef and bass clef. And figure out the notes and write them here in the blanks. Now they want you to add the time signature to this activity up here. Number three, draw the brace, treble clef, bass clef, and draw the notes indicated. So here they give you the notes and they want you to plot them on the lines on the staffs here. Use half notes on both staffs. If the note can be drawn on more than one place on the staff, choose which one you want to write. So all half notes all the way through. If you forget what a half note looks like, please go back and review. Um, some instances there are more than one place to put, for example, a C. Okay, you could put it here on this space, or you could put it here on this space. Um, just choose one. Okay. Here they want you to add the bar lines to this activity in the correct place. So this is 4-4 four, four time signature. You're going to count out four beats and then draw a bar line. Four beats, draw a bar line, so on and so forth. And the line with a double bar line. Looks like you already got that here. But anyways, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And uh, have fun.